That's why my administration is launching a national HIV AIDS strategy that's going to focus on reducing HIV infections, increasing access to care, reducing HIV-related health disparities. Here at the Department of Health and Human Services, as well as the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention launch Act Against AIDS programs, which are designed to stress the need to control the disease and the importance of individuals getting tested. The Act Against AIDS Leadership Initiative, also known as ALLY, is a partnership between CDC and leading national organizations representing the population's hardest hit by HIV and AIDS. ALLY organizations have a strong history of confronting issues that impact our communities, from civil and human rights to health equity to poverty and education. And now we are joining together to combat the devastating effects of HIV and AIDS on our communities. We are dealing with a disease which is entirely preventable. And what we are seeing now, this crisis, does not have to be the reality. Everyone and every action counts. And if we are going to be truly successful in bringing this epidemic to an end, we are going to have to enlist hearts and minds of the nation, of communities, and of individuals across the country in bringing this disease to an end. We have seen the impact on our community. We have seen our children, our brothers, sisters, friends, impacted by this disease in so many ways. It is taking people away from here, just, just as much as guns and drugs is taking people away. HIV AIDS is a social issue, not just a health issue. We can no longer allow our young people to grow up in ignorance. We can no longer allow our community to live in ignorance when there's a disease out there that's completely 100% preventable. When you think about this particular issue, it is an issue that has not only been there for years, but is especially growing in terms of uh, its negative impacts on our community specifically. Ally organizations are using our collective strength and influence to increase HIV AIDS awareness, prevention, testing, and action by incorporating these strategies into our day-to-day -day activities in the communities we serve. combating this devastating disease that's taking effect on all of our communities. We feel that this is a basic human right and that the attitude is one that needs to be extended that was part of the movement that birthed our organization in the 1960s to begin with. The Ally Project creates a unique opportunity to finally, innovatively, have a strong impact on eradicating this preventable disease in black communities. We have a tremendous amount of responsibility to serve as a conduit in approaching the issue related to HIV and AIDS. We have the power to change it. It's just a matter of ensuring that working through organizations like Ally, we can focus those efforts to ensure a wonderful solution. Straight to the point, we need to work collectively. We need our bodies, our organizations working collectively. Ally it gives us the platform at a national level to come together and address the HIV AIDS epidemic. All our national organizations that have the respect of the community uh, for years, uh, our role has to be to frame the message that this is an important issue. In the end, the greatest accomplishment that we could have made with this Act Against AIDS Leadership Initiative, in my opinion, would be to remove the stigma, to remove the burden of guilt 
from our people who may be infected with AIDS or HIV such that they become free to A, be tested, B, to participate in normal life, and C, to be treated not only for the disease, but with human dignity in all arenas. This collaboration in particular provides uh, these organizations with a critical and uniform messages about HIV and AIDS. It is up to the African American and the Latina community to take charge of this issue. No longer can we see this as a gay white man's disease or a straight black woman's disease. It's time for us to see this as a disease that is killing too many people in our country, infecting too many people in our country, impoverishing too many families in our country, and something that we as the richest and most powerful nation on earth can get our hands around if we so choose to. We are urging all organizations to see this as their role, that they should be holding seminars, they should be using their newsletters, they should be blogging, they should be participating in forums, talking about this in every venue that we have because we all have a stake at this. It's important that we see this as being one of the more severe health disparities that exist in our nation at this time. And as we lend our voice to health disparities, we cannot lend our voice to it without including the conversation about HIV AIDS. Together, we are acting against AIDS.